What's going on you guys? Keep me on the camera here. Just woke up and in a few minutes we are going to have a new delivery of fridge. Best Buy is bringing our brand new fridge today. Uh, me and Bridget went and picked it out, Bridget and I. Went and picked it out the other day. So hopefully it gets here soon so I can show you guys on video. Uh, right now I'm over there rendering the new prank I pulled on Grandpa yesterday where I told him to come to the house and I wasn't there. I'd moved out. Pickle Boy's gone. So I got that saving right now. So hopefully by the time you've seen this, you've seen that. But if you haven't, click the link below. It'll be there. That's the video where I prank Dad. It's the new prank on the Angry Grandpa Show channel. So here we go. New refrigerator on Memorial Day. And it ain't being used. Here we go. Well, I mean, it's being used, just not for Memorial Day. So this is our new fridge. If you're going to open it, you're going to have to do a whole... It's kind of weird. It shows up all weird looking on this. Well, not now, but... Huh. And this is the fridge freezer thing. You put things in. So this right here is another part of the fridge. And this is the freezer and it has a drawer. You should work on the prices right. I agree. I'm really good. This is this is me. It's a very nice refrigerator. I like it very much. It's, it's just what I needed. This is you. I'll put my ice cream in the refrigerator, I think. That's true. Hey, I wanted to keep the energy safe sign in there forever. Ew. So I guess we should start taking some of this stuff off. So we just spent the past couple of minutes taking all the plastic off of the fridge and stuff, so let's take a look at it. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, we open it all up. I can hear the comments now. Oh, look, his fat ass needs a bigger fridge. And you're probably right. But I got one anyway. We are outside right now. It was just raining. I was hoping to capture some of that rain on camera. But unfortunately, I did not. So, I wanted to talk about something real quick. I noticed a couple of people on my Facebook and I saw, you know, somebody on Twitter and I got a message of people saying that uh, I stopped doing videos on the Angry Grandpa Show channel because I'm doing too many vlogs. And that's not the case. <laughs> One of the comments on Facebook says, you haven't done a prank in forever and, well, my channel's been loaded with pranks lately. I have another one uploading, like, saving right now. I'm gonna be uploading that in the next 10, 20 minutes. I uploaded the, the TV voice activation prank. We had the PS4 treasure hunt against me. There's been a ton of pranks on the channel. I just think maybe people are looking at the wrong, you know. Kid Behind a Camera is my personal vlogging channel. Angry Grandpa shows where I upload videos where Dad shows his ass or does something over there. And Grandpa's Corner is where I upload his personal vlogs. So I haven't done less videos for that channel. I've just done more videos for this channel because I've been vlogging as often as I can. Granted, I know I haven't vlogged every day, but pretty much every day I have. You know, I have, I've missed a couple of days, you know, one here or there, but, you know, I've been routinely keeping vlogs going. So, you know, it's fun to do. I enjoy doing them. And that's why I do the vlogs. And a lot of people like them. A lot of people don't like them. I don't know how many people like them, how many people dislike them. That's why, that's another reason I ask people to click like, because that lets me know that you're enjoying the vlog. It's just a way to get closer to you guys so I can know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. That's why I tried out that different kind of vlog the other day where I cut between clips of me and dad. and. You know, if it got a fair amount of likes, I would have done it more often. So no, I haven't done less videos, I've just done more videos for this channel, and Clyde is actually taking a shit in front of me right now. Uh, right in eye level. <laughs> Who's that dog in the reflection, Bella? Bella used to be obsessed with her own reflection, you remember that? Oh yeah. There was a time where she would like look at herself in the mirror and follow herself. 
Oh yeah, she would break out. Look, Bella. I got the viewfinder full so she can see herself. Well, the fridge has been here for a little bit. We have, it's really weird. I see it moving, the numbers moving like that. You guys see it? I see it on the viewfinder, but it's not doing that in real life. It's really strange. Like, this is how it looks always. But I've noticed on the viewfinder, the numbers will start spinning, and, and I know it's looking like that on the computer. It's very strange to me. I wonder why that is. So, we have the stuff in the fridge. This is what it looks like in here right now. Oh, kind of empty, actually. We got our milk, and got some turkey bacon in there, and some eggs, and... It's very odd that, you know, we don't have much in here right now. We gotta get some food going. But of course, with the diets, we haven't really been eating. See, he's doing it right there. It stopped. It's weird. It's only doing it on the viewfinder. It is not doing it in real life. I didn't even know Samsung made fridges. <laughs> you know, this is crazy. It's gorgeous. So am I. Oh! Meanwhile, uh, let's go ahead and just show some of the stuff that I deleted from the prank that I did today. Here's just some extra footage. This is just some of the stuff that I decided I didn't want to put in the video. So here it is, some of the non-used footage, deleted scenes, extended, whatever, from the video for today. Only up here, because I do this every Monday for the youngin'. Ah, oh, sorry, Derek! Man, fuck. Damn it! Bend your fat ass over and help me! I'll get my baseball bat. Derek, you should be using this kind of language in your restaurant. What do you think? We have nobody in the restaurant. Hello, Monday Mailbag. This is an extra clip because Dad forgot a package here that he got in the mail and he didn't open it for mailbag video. A Los Santos hat from GTA 5. And who sent this stuff? You mind if I get to it? And a pen. This thing. Yep, that thing. And it's from Shaquan Vaughn. And they, I believe they put their Twitter, so here they are on Twitter. You're right, I like this hat. And a poster of New York. I'm start spreading the news. New York, New York. I'm leaving for good. I've got a real suit. I want to, to be a part of it. New York, New York. If I can make it there, I'll make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. You have what you want? Now get the fuck out of my house. What? That's it, go. I like my hat though. So I gotta leave? You gotta leave now. Get out of my garden! Here, drink this milk. No! What, it's fresh, trust me. Frank fail. Oh, I was gonna have her drink sour milk. That was pretty bad fail. Water. <laughs> Been drinking a lot of water lately. Got my weigh-in Wednesday coming up. Uh, I should be. I, I'm gonna take a guess and say I'll be down two pounds, putting me back at 3:34 where I was at, which sucks. But at least it's not that 3:36. What you doing, girl? Give me a paw. So, I'm on the phone with my sister, whom has been vlogging lately. And today she That's told right. Today she told the story of the time mom sold her dog for fruit. No. She didn't sell my dog. She traded my dog. I consider it the same thing. She traded it for fruit. She sold it for fruit. Either way, the dog was gone and we got some pears. 
dude. Who the hell? No one likes pears either. Seriously. Yeah, I remember Dad like pickled those pears. Like he put them in mason jars and stuff. And like yeah, we, we had the mason jars like all the kept, and I'm pretty sure we had them like our whole life. Like every time we moved, they came with us. Yeah, like we never, <laughs> we never really. <laughs> The peaches he made into a couple of mediocre, uh, you know, peach cobblers. Like, yeah, those were like good and stuff. Yeah, no, see, pe- some of the peach cobblers were good, not all of them. Like, there's sometimes, see, when Dad makes a peach cobbler, you know, sometimes it, it depends on his mood. If he wants to make it good, he'll use a little glass, you know, glass container and bake it correctly and have... Yeah, I was going to say, because I've never seen anyone who can't make peach cobbler the same way every time. But Dad, now sometimes what Dad would do is use one of his, like, rusty cooking pans. Like, the peach cobbler would get this rust taste to it. And, you know, he doesn't have a recipe. He just, little bit of this, little bit of that. Mash some goddamn sugar. Let me dump some goddamn, I'm going to dump flour on top of it. Like, he don't make, like, a crust. But sometimes he made it good. Sometimes he made it shit. I assume the one he made for Kim's dog was okay. Monday's over. I haven't even watched wrestling yet. It's in DVR. I'm going to check it out. But people have been telling me it's horrible tonight. I've had a couple of IMs. This is the worst Raw in years. So that's kind of shit. <laughs> you know, how can it go from pre-WrestleMania so amazing to post-WrestleMania being so horrible? And that's exactly why. They, they make it so good for WrestleMania, and then they make it to a shitty product. But anyway, going to go check out some wrestling. Pretty good Monday. Had a good time today. I got the new fridge. And that's it. That's That was the only enjoyable thing that happened to me today. And I'm, like, raving about it. Pretty good Monday. I got a new fridge. <laughs> anyway, it was a pretty good Monday overall. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hate doing that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, favorite. And I keep looking over that frog.